Yeah, very good evening. Can I get your resume? Yes. Uh, nice Rita, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. My name is N.P. Srija and I am from Malkanjiri, Hyderabad. Right now, I am pursuing in B.Tech final year in ECE background. I have completed my 10th standard in St. Martin's High School and intermediate in Sri Chaitanya Karnashwara. My hobbies are dancing, singing, making DIYs, coming to my technical skills. I am getting skilled in MagniQ software as c -sharp .net, full stack. Okay. So, coming to technical, uh, what is exactly C-Sharp programming language? C-Sharp programming language was first came from Microsoft and it was introduced in 2002. It is a programming language to develop application software. So, uh, what are data types? We are having two types of data types. One is a reference type and a value type. Value type is about the fixed length, whereas reference type doesn't have a fixed length. Some of examples of reference are string and uh, value type are int. Okay. So, uh, coming, uh, what are conditional statements? Mm. Conditional statements are used for the correct flow of a program. Uh, we are having five types, if, if else, nested if, for if and switch. So, what is a looping statements when we will go for loop? A looping statements are used for the multiple iterations and we are having five types of looping statements while, do while, for loop, uh, nested for and for else. For each. For each. Mm. So, uh, what is an array? Mm. array? Array is used for collecting a multiple data in a single variable. It should be a similar data type. Okay. So how the values are going to be stored? It is stored, we are having three types of data arrays. One dimensional array, multiple dimensional array and jagged array. Uh, what are, uh, what is OOPS? When we will go for OOPS? When we are coming for C and C++, we are having some of the uh, drawbacks that are uh, data reusability, data data reusability, data redundancy. To overcome that, we are introducing OOPS concept. And the main uh, co the main aim for OOPS is to uh, do for a real-time entities. And we are having four type, four pillars of OOPS. They are abstraction, en encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is a concept where parent and child class are taking place. Uh, and we are having five types of inheritance, single inheritance, multi-inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hybrid, in hybrid inheritance. Mm, uh, now, coming to uh, ASP, what is ASP? ASP is, um, full form of ASP is an active server page and it is used for a dynamic and static web pages, for creating dynamic and static web pages. And the main aim for ASP is to run at the server end. Oh, yes. Now, what are the different controls we have, like labels? Yeah, we are having uh, controls in ASP. It, the main aim uh, for controls is to get interacted for the user. Some of them are labels, text boxes, uh, buttons, and checkbox. Yes. So, uh, how, what is the purpose of ADO.net? ADO.NET is used for uh, giving a front-end and back-end connection. Whatever the user is getting uh, interacted with the web form, the whole data is getting stored in the database. So the connection between the front-end and back-end is given by the ADO and the logic is written. Okay. What is SQL Server? What is the purpose of it? SQL Server is mainly used for the storing of data in the form of a tables that consists of rows and columns. The main aim is to uh, store the data. So, so, what is HTML? Where, when we will use HTML? HTML is a hypertext markup language. It is used for the uh, web form, for creating a web form. So, what is the purpose of CSS, cascading side shapes? It is used for the styling purposes. 
So what is JavaScript when we will use it? For coding. Uh, what type of coding? Client side or server side? Server. Client side. No. So uh, like when you are uh, using different classes we have, right? So uh, what is uh, what is the difference between encapsulation and abstraction? When what is the definition for it? Encapsulation means encapsulation is the combining the code and the data in a particular class. It is known as encapsulation. Where abstraction is used uh, like the data which is used to show ex external data is being visible and the internal data is show hidden. So uh, we have to use an abstract keyword. When we are using abstract class. So what is the uh, what is the abstract class consists of abstract members? Abstract keyword and abstract methods, abstract classes. So, now what is polymorphism? Polymorphism is uh, nothing but a same name acting as different ways, which can overriding and over overriding and over loading, loading comes under. So, so, what are operators? Operators, it is a symbol where it performs an operation between two different datas. And we are having uh, some of the datas and mainly six, data, six operators we use. Um, those are automatic operation, logical operation, assessment operation, uh, unitary operation, ternary operation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.